What's going on guys? How you doing? My name is Matthew and I am a FedEx driver. So today we're going to be talking about um, why most people quit here at FedEx. So I currently work at FedEx Express. I am a courier for a PM position 1 to 1030. And I like my job. I can't complain. Uh, there's a few hiccups here and there. But ultimately... The company is good to me, uh, better than where I came from, which was Amazon. And uh, I do miss my contract, not gonna lie. I miss having my medical contract, but you know, stuff happens and uh, there's, I just gotta keep moving forward. So here I am with FedEx. Um, and just definitely, I've seen a lot of people quit quit already and I've only been here <laughs> for um, over three months and it's peak time so they're hiring a lot of people right now um, what to expect as a as a courier in general is you're either going to be taking packages to residentials or businesses or picking up um, pretty simple, right? But there's a lot of issues that come with that and everything has to work in your favor. Um, I think the biggest thing is keeping somebody for the first two weeks or three weeks because it can get tough. Some people quit before they even start their own <laughs> before they even start their own route or before they even drive. Now, I'm just a pickup courier. There are different positions out here. There is delivery drivers. There are pickup drivers. And um, there's people that do both. There's people that have a route that they go see every single day, same businesses, same residentials. And there's people that do multiple. They're called swing drivers. They'll go to, they'll get a different route every single day or the same one for a month. It just depends. Um, so there's a lot of different positions out here. And ultimately, you just have to land one and you like it. There's country. You know, you could be driving out in the country. You could be in, in the city with high rises. You can be in a mall area, just a mall area. Or you can be just at one place. Like, it, it it's the amount of, like where you could land in is unknown. When I first got hired, I thought I was just gonna be delivering packages. I thought I was gonna be like Amazon and having like 150 stop count and going to resis and picking up maybe from businesses. Um, and it turns out <laughs> I'm just here doing pickups. You know, I don't do any deliveries. Uh, my first delivery route was this past Saturday because of peak season. It wasn't that bad, honestly. I had only 30, pick, uh, 30 deliveries. It was super easy. But um, I think ultimately where you land is going to determine whether you're going to like the job or not. Even for me, I, I have one of the um, biggest pickup stops in my station. And it can get tough. I, I'm not going to lie. There's, there's days where... I'm falling behind. They, they're giving me a lot of work and I'm asking for help. Maybe dispatch isn't responding as fast as I want them to. And I'm letting them know I'm going to be late because I'm super behind. I got too many packages or uh, people are not ready. I'll go to a stop and they're just telling me to hold on. But I'm looking at my looking at my watch. I'm like, I got two minutes. And if not, you're gonna be seeing the smoke from my exhaust because I have to go. Um, I can get to work in the morning and and there's no equipment at all. I mean, there's literally no truck for me, no scanner, and no, uh, no printer. So I can't do anything. And I, I clock in and I just sit there and wait. Uh, you can wait up. I've seen people wait to almost an hour and 30 minutes for a um, scanner. 
luckily they've just ordered some and they're on the, they're on the way so hopefully that's not an issue anymore i'm in a u-haul right now so and i've been in this u-haul for the past two months <laughs> so even before peak that just shows you that we are short on on stuff and i'm hoping that changes really soon because uh that can get really annoying for somebody uh they we can't even clock in if we're going to be sitting around waiting so people literally go in earlier and don't clock in until later because they're not supposed to everyone has an actual start time you can only clock in five minutes before that unless you're given approve, uh, approval by a manager to start working early. But you can be stuck there and I can see that being a big headache. Luckily, I come in at 10.55 and I have a truck and sometimes I have to wait for a scanner or a printer. And the longest I've waited is about 30 minutes, but my actual start time ain't until 1 p.m. So I was I had to talk to my manager and be like, hey, I can't really get here at one and have to wait on some equipment and then go because then I'm already behind <laughs> so and that's the last thing I want I don't want to get a late because you can't get lates here when you're making a pickup because your phone's gonna be ringing your manager's gonna be calling you they're gonna be like why were you late uh to this pickup and I make sure I do everything I can not to have a late I go eventually to 50 to 60 stops they're all timed they're all different from pickup some of them I have an hour window. Uh, some of them have two hours. It just, it really depends. My busiest time is from three. I think I was saying three to six, but it's about three to 5.30. And that four to five window, there's about 10 places I have to go to that close within that hour. So I am flying back and forth in one area. And even still to this day, I get like a rush of anxiety because I just don't know what to expect. Some, I'm, most days are good. There's there's some days where I'll go, they'll have a lot and uh, which is not bad. I think which, which is worse is when they're not ready and they're making me hold on and I'm like, I mean, I can't hold on no longer, I'm sorry. And it hurts to say that because some of these people are really cool and I know they're busy too, but um, potentially waiting there is, can, can make me late for my next stop because we just don't know what we're picking up. Um, another thing is too, here, here at Express, once we finish, we don't just go home. You know, we don't take our truck to the station and, and dip off. Um, they're asking for help a lot and more times than than I would like to hear, but at the end of the day, I always help out anyway for the extra hours, but it's not like Amazon where you finish and you you drop everything off and you're and you're off home. Uh, they're gonna want you to help. They don't have enough package handlers, at least from my area, and they're gonna want you to unload your truck, uh, unload other people's trucks, and scan some documents and. Some people don't want that. They don't want to do that. They just want to go, do what they're supposed to do, and go home. Which I don't blame them either because that's what I was expecting. Um, when I went on my first day of orientation, they're like, "Oh no, you're gonna be un you're gonna be unloading trucks. You're gonna be loading trucks, and uh, you're gonna be doing it for a while." And I was like, "What? Really?" I still didn't understand it. It was uh, really confusing to me. I've gotten kind of used to it, but I still miss just you know being out here on the road finishing and then heading off home um and there's another reason i mean uh people are i mean you're working about 10 to 11 hours a day and it, it can make you tired you know there's some days where i get off and my girlfriend calls me and she wants to do something the only thing i want to do is put my face right on the bed and close my eyes and do it all over again tomorrow so it can get really tedious, right? But luckily I have a motive in mind. I have goals that I wanna crush and the pay is weekly. So, uh, I mean, this isn't the end of the road for me. I got things that I wanna do. And as long as you have goals that you wanna set, you're gonna be good. Now, if this was it, 
and I had no nothing else to, to go for me or going for me, I'd be pretty upset, you know. I, and that's why I set these goals in mind to keep me motivated to come to work, to stay happy, to be prepared, um, to make a great day. Because there's a lot of drivers out here, especially the old timers. Man, they're always in a bad mood. Always. And I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm, I'm, I never get really angry or, you know, cuss anybody out. I'm out here on the road. I'm friendly, you know. And But there's some people at the station, man. They will, they, you just, every day, they're just so mean. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, like, lighten up a little bit. But this job can make you like that. And, and that's what you got to be, uh, be careful and watch out for. This job can literally change your mood. And you can bring that back home. And your wife, girlfriend, your mom, ain't nobody trying to hear all that, you know, complaining. Uh, so, and sometimes I catch myself talking to my girlfriend where I'm just complaining all the time. I'm like, man, this and that, this and that happened at work. And she ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> so, um, I know I'm just rambling here. But hopefully, you know, you took some advice from here. FedEx Express, I, I, I like the job. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just saying uh, no job is perfect at the end of the day. And I'm just doing what I can to be better. And hopefully it works out in the end. Like I said, for anyone that applies here, if you're looking to, to apply because i don't think it's a bad company i think you should at least try it right um it, for to, to be honest it's right in between it's right behind ups i mean if you already work at amazon and you're looking for something that's going to be more of a career this is the job uh for you um i don't know about fedex ground but fedex express you can move up and that's at least my goal for depending on how long I'm going to be here, I'm going to keep moving up until I'm where I want to be in life because I don't want to get too comfortable. I want to keep uh, just knocking these goals out. So with Amazon, there was really no growth for me. Um, I was still there. I didn't quit. I just, the company moved and I was just like, I, I really can't move there because it's, it's so far away. They, and, um, it was really unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm here now and it's honestly better, but yeah, I mean, I've been rambling for about almost 13 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, y'all have a good day. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything, leave them down below. Uh, I'll be posting videos daily of FedEx life, just a delivery driver in general and be on the lookout. I'm going to be trying to post maybe some gaming content and my fitness journey uh, because I'm trying to get back into shape. Um, here, it keeps me decent, but I'm trying to get back into lifting weights at the gym. So other than that, I'm out of here. My break is probably already over. And I'll see you next time. Peace.